Hello, dear students. Uh, good evening. Uh, today is our second class. Uh, last day we uh, learned about um, we learned about missed. Uh, capital budgeting and uh, risk analysis. We uh, already learned about uh, payback period. Uh, now today we will uh, learn about accounting rate of return or average rate of return. Uh, ARR. What is uh, accounting rate of return? Oxford, uh, according to Oxford Dictionary of Finance and Banking, uh, they are telling us account, uh, ARR is an accounting ratio that expresses the profit of an organization before invest and uh, taxation usually for a year or a percentage of the capital employed at the end of the period there are some uh, merits um, it's uh, very easy to calculate and simple to understand it is based on the accounting information rather than cash inflow this is not based on the time value of money. Uh, maybe it's a uh, uh, demerits also. It considers the total benefits associated with the projects. What is the demerits? There are some demerits. It ignores the time value of money. Uh, we know uh, without uh, considering the time value of money, it's very difficult to uh, evaluate any amount. It ignores the reinvestment potential of a project. Different methods are used for accounting profit. So it leads to some difficulties in the calculation of the project. What is the accept and reject criteria? If the actual accounting rate of return is more than the predetermined required rate of return, the project would be accepted. If not, it would be rejected. We can see uh, the formula, some formulas, accounting rate of return equal to average EAT divided by average investment into 100. How can we get average EAT? Average EAT equal to total EAT DAT divided by number of years. Average investment. How can we get, how do we know average investment? Average investment equal to NWC, need working capital, plus initial investment plus salvage value divided by two. Here is another formula for uh, ROI, return on investment, average EAT divided by original investment into 100. Now we consider uh, an example here you can see the example. Uh, Shamanti is considering purchasing a new machine which will cost Taka 45,000. It estimates the machine have a life of seven years at the end of which have a salvage value of Taka 3,000. The estimated annual cash flows are given below. We can see some cash flow flows. Uh, for seven years, there are seven years cash inflows. Um, if we calculate ARR, then what we will do? We know the formula ARR equal to average EAT divided by average investment, but uh, there are no average EAT, so we have to calculate average EAT. Uh, how can we get average EAT? So we have to. Uh, add all the amounts and uh, it will be divided by seven you can see uh, we can calculate it very easily uh, what will be the sum 26,800 but we need to want uh, average EAT. 
it's total EAT, average EAT equal to total EAT divided by number of years. Uh, here, uh, total amount, total EAT. So average EAT will be Six thousand and eight hundred divided by number of years n equal to seven. Oh, sorry, maybe there are some okay. There is no problem. Twenty six thousand. We can write here uh, with that four thousand. We can write it here uh, three thousand and eight hundred. That will be better for us. Three thousand and eight hundred then it will be uh, uh, 26,600 so 6,600 uh, divided by 7 equal to uh, round figure 3,800 so we have uh, we have to edit a little uh, 4,000 here we should write here 3,800 uh, that should be better for us to calculate uh, so we have got we have already get uh, the average EAT uh, so what will be the ARR you know ARR equal to ARR equal to ARR equal to average EAT divided by average investment how do we know the average investment? Average investment equal to NWC, initial investment plus salary value. So, uh, after calculate AR, we have to uh, average, average investment equal to, uh, we don't have any need working capital, so we uh, just calculate, um, Initial investment forty five thousand plus service value three thousand uh, thousand forty eight thousand uh, divided by two forty eight thousand uh, divided by two. Um, we can use a formula here D7 plus E7 D7 plus E7 uh, divided by to 24,000 uh, average investment. Now, what's with the ARR? ARR, um, you know that ARR equal to uh, average EAT divided by average investment into 100. Average EAT, so ARR equal to average EAT <coughs> divided by average investment. Here's the formula. Uh, what is uh, the amount of average EAT? Average EAT equal to 3800. 3800 divided by equal to 3, 000, 3 800 and uh, divided by 24,000 into 100 equal to 15.83%. Uh, probably students can understand my workings. Otherwise, uh, I will show it again uh, another time. 
and now we have to calculate ROI. ROI, return on investment. Uh, return on what is the firm formula of ROI? ROI equal to average GAT divided by original investment. Or oh, what is the amount of original investment here? Here, original investment is only Taka 45,000. So we have to divide average EAT by uh, 45,000 and uh, multiply by 100 to, uh, for the percent. Uh, uh, so we can use again Excel um, formula. We can memorize the formula again. Average EAT divided by what is average EAT? EAT is uh, number 3800 and uh, divided by uh, original investment. Original investment, we know original investment is taka 45,000. So um, I can write it directly equal to uh, 3800 divided by uh, 45,000 into 100 equal to here is the result 8.4444 percent uh, now we can uh, uh, we are learning accounting also we uh, have can see how to calculate with uh, excel sheet um, we can see it uh, very easily we can calculate everything in excel very easily if we know uh, the rules of excel um, next day i will show it in a whiteboard so don't worry you can just comment on my inbox and uh, subscribe my channel that will be uh, helpful for all of our students now today's uh, two answers are um, today's answer A are 15.8333%, uh, 15.333% uh, and uh, ROI equal to 8.44%. Okay, thanks uh, to the viewers, uh, please, I am telling you again and requesting you to subscribe my channel and then you will i will be available here for you and i will show you everything uh, you need uh, for my honors students um, thanks to everybody and good night and have a sweet dream thanks to everybody for watching my video